since the one picture is better than 100 words, let's take a look. I put a couple of words from that book uh, here, so you can see the hen and the cow. Then the, in Spanish we have pollo, vaca, and in Russian the same word is kurica, korova. You should pay attention to the syllables. In English, we basically that elementary word for babies has just one syllable, have just one single syllable where that includes a couple of moves of the tongue in the mouth and then one exhale. In uh, Spanish, we have two distinct syllables, pollo, pollo, and then vaca, vaca. When we turn to Russian, we have three syllables and that is the norm, I mean the all those words they can be shorter but they typically they are about three syllables and more out of the three languages the russian was the most difficult to start producing it took way longer she started to speak spanish she picked up english like from the thin air nobody even knew where she collects them and um and the russian was just like uh, you know hard when we are talking about babies of that early age, uh, under one year old, we never mention that there is some sort of influence from outside, like cultural or social. Uh, we always uh, should take into account just the behavior, typical behavior of the brain. As I mentioned earlier, brain is not going to burn extra calories on, you know, producing some words that they can produce, deliver in the easier way. So we need to scaffold the situation where they need to use more, uh, more language of that uh, that the most complicated in this situation. I personally decided to concentrate on Russian because otherwise she will get rid of Kurica and then Sharova and then we will hear less vacas and we will hear less pollos. So what we will have at the end is going to be the English only. This is what we observe in the every single, let's say, generation, second generation on, or generation 1.5 of the immigrants in the United States. Once they get to the community of English speakers, they just get rid of everything. Everything that is not important for the communication with the environment. Therefore, you are aware that the uh, phonics of one of the languages can play a destructive role in the process of multiple languages acquisition. Because... When child has several languages at the same time, they um, inadvertently they make a choice which one is easier. I mean, not the child, but the child's brain. So the one that is, sounds easier and easier to produce, they start to produce faster and better that, rather than the second or the other one that is more complex. So make sure that in that you secure the most complex language first. You expect you um, scaffold it and uh, did all possible to make them to produce that language as well as the easier one.